It was the mid-1990s in Central Florida. Rob Scott was working as a Best Boy Electric and, you know, was doing a lot of, I think, features and television shows and that kind of stuff. And the story goes, I guess, that Rob was working with a gaffer from, I think, New York who had who wasn't accustomed to the the daily mid-afternoon rainstorms that you get in Central Florida. And the gaffer had a package of brand new life, uh, HMIs. And so this, this guy was really freaked out about getting his new lights wet. Necessity is the mother of invention. And Rob went home one night with uh, some sheet metal and some tin snips and started hacking out some some of the first versions of rain hats and over the years uh, began to perfect it and make changes and develop new models and was very successful at, at that for uh, uh, the rest of his career until he retired. Sometime in the mid to late 90s, uh, a gaffer friend of mine from here in Indianapolis uh, went to Florida to do a shoot. So he came home and telling us all about these these rain hat things that he had used on this job and he had, that he had ordered some. And so soon his new rain hats showed up and suddenly we were all using them and just thought they were the greatest thing ever. Everybody on the crew loved them. All the grips and electricians just thought it was fantastic because it, it saved all of us time and made our lives easier. and and um, made us all look better and, and kept us from, you know, having broken lenses that we had to go groveling to the producers about and all of that sort of stuff. So sort of the mid 2000s, when I started my rental house, uh, I decided that that was one of the first things. In fact, I think I bought rain hats before I bought any HMIs. It was sort of a no brainer for me. It was, it was literally one of the first things I purchased. Early 2018, Rob called me and said, hey, I'm, I'm, I had got this big order and I've been struggling through getting it done and I'm working long hours and I didn't retire to work long hours. So I really think I just want to be done with this. And I saw on social media that you guys at Hammer Lighting and Grip were doing some metal fabrication work. Rob thought that might be a good fit to, to have us start manufacturing rain hats. And he really, Rob wanted to make sure that that his legacy kind of continued on. He didn't want to, he kept telling me, I just want to make sure that somebody's there to take care of all my buddies and all my customers. You know, he really, I, I think he had this real care about making sure that he took care of the guys who had taken care of him all those years and to make sure that they still had rain hats to use because if he wasn't going to make them, maybe no one else would. And in, in late 2019, we bought some CNC equipment to be able to cut the metal. And that really opened us up then because we could start drawing new designs and start really uh, rapid prototyping new things and, and coming up with all sorts of new ideas. And now we have, I think, something like 30 models where when we bought the company from Rob three years ago, we had five. That was something that we had the ability to do also because we're a rental company. We understand the equipment. We tend to know what is coming down the pike in terms of the most popular things. And, and then we're able to build prototypes here and test them on the fixtures that we have and uh, let them go out with a customer and get some feedback and maybe make adjustments and those kinds of things. We're, we're, you know, we're constantly talking to our local customers and, and asking those folks what they like about a particular model that they took out on a job and what they uh, uh, didn't like about it and, and making those changes as we get that feedback as the um, LED uh, revolution continues and, and, and new products get developed, we're constantly developing. In fact, we have a lot of, uh, of OEMs now calling us, asking us to design rain hats for their product before they even release the product. So I think you're going to see more and more of that kind of thing coming where, where the OEMs are, are recommending our product or are, are selling it as an accessory to theirs. And you don't very often come across a product that is good, fast, and cheap. Usually you have to pick two of those. The, the Rob's Rain Hat product, it, it, it's, it, it's good. It works really, really well. It's way faster to use on set than the competing product. And it's less expensive than buying a roll of cello screen or buying a, a, a ex renting extra stands and floppies and, and gel frames and all that extra stuff to try to cover lights on the set. And it also saves you money from loss and damage, which the producers always hate to see. 
But one of the things we always talk about here in the shop and also talked about on the jobs that I always loved was, was the phrase, work smarter, not harder. And, and that's one of the things I love about Rob's Rain House is that it, 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 it is a product that, that you, can, you can work smarter, it saves your back, it saves you time. And uh, it's, I think that's the, one of the, the really exciting things for me to show to the, to the rest of the world and, and get everybody to, to see is that this is something that really, really makes your, will make your job easier and uh, will help you be a better technician and help you do a better job and free up your time on, on the job to, to, to do the things that are gonna make the difference in the picture instead of just running around trying to constantly put out fires. You know, it's often said in production that you're only as good as your last job. And I think that's the thing I like about Rob's Rain Hats is that, that we get to help our customers be the best they can be so they can get the next job.